Um, and the restaurant industry, of course, has been among the hardest hit by the, by the pandemic. Uh, restaurant professions have been among the most likely to, uh, to, to, to die of COVID-19. Over, uh, when you look at the single most likely profession, that's cooks who um, you know, are working in crowded conditions in the back of the house. Uh, and over a third, 35% um, nationally and close to 50% in New York of all black and Latino workers in this industry are cooks. So this, this is the group that has been the most, uh, the single group that has been the most impacted by, by COVID-19. I mean, the rise of the Omicron variant, variant, we know that many restaurants have had to close because, uh, because so many staff have, have uh, cont contracted the, um, that variant uh, and have had to call in sick. Uh, but we also know that there are restaurants where they've remained open even with staff who have been forced to come in uh, even after being contracted that. It's been very difficult for restaurant workers who don't have access to paid sick leave, um, and you know, we're still faced with eviction moratoriums and unemployment insurance that has uh, largely evaporated. 58% of the respondents uh, that we surveyed reported that they were concerned or very concerned about their loved ones contracting COVID-19 or themselves contracting COVID-19 due to their exposure at work. And despite the health risks they face each day, their wages continue to, to remain unconscionably low uh, with very little benefits uh, or no benefits uh, and you know, facing constant struggle to make ends meet, which is why uh, so many you know, noted that they had to go into work even while they were uh, exhibiting symptoms of COVID-19. Overwhelming 91% of the workers we surveyed said they did not receive, receive any hazard pay or did not receive any increased pay from their employers for working during um, the coronavirus outbreak. Uh, about 9% said that it did receive some hazard pay, but more than half of those said that it was, it was inadequate. Uh, and only, um, actually fewer than 5% of restaurant workers reported that they received increased income from work in 2020. Because of the nature of, the, of work in the industry, it's extremely difficult to socially distance uh, while you're at work, especially in the back of the house, uh, making, you know, making us more vulnerable to, to the virus. You know, there might be a thought that restaurant workers would have sufficient access to protective gear, uh, but that's not the case. 34% of respondents reported that they did not receive PPE at work, meaning no masks, no gloves, or face shields, or, or, or of the sort. 